Hi there, it's Janice Thompson from jazzledazzlecraft.co.uk. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I live and work in Scotland. And today I am filming another, well I'm going to do two cards in this video and I'm still using up my designer series paper and I believe this, uh, this is retired, I don't believe, I know that this is retiring, but um, you can still get it on the last chance sale. It's um, for as long as stocks last, so I'm not entirely sure if there'll still be some left when I actually publish this video. However, I'm sure quite a lot of you have got some of it left in your stash, so feel free to use my ideas to use it up. I didn't get the stamp set um, or the dies, but just the paper. So let's see what I can do with the paper. I actually have a few other cards made up. You'll be impressed. That is all I've got left of this paper. So I'm feeling a bit good that I have used it. So let's... I have prepped to make it easier. But what I didn't do was get out my craft white ink. So I do want to do two sentiments. I'm actually going to do them now on with Craft White and set them aside. I've got that one which is probably the right size for that one. Let's just do that. So I've taken the sentiment from Artistically Inked which is carrying over. This is a fabulous set and I'm probably going to film something with that this week as well I'm yeah trying to be ahead I have got a pre-order and it isn't here and I'm then going to be away for a wee while so um I'm on holiday and I'm backwards and forwards so but I won't be having time to film and craft so until the very end of April ready for the catalogue to go live I will be able to do a few things then probably some lives so I'm just going to pop that over there this is because this is for a masculine card or male card um, that I find that this happy birthday is so straightforward and it doesn't distract That's not so good. I'll we'll just do a few across here and then if I need them for anything else, they're easy. That's better. I'm just... Right, we'll just leave them and we'll use, if necessary, use the best, we'll use the best of them. And this one I'll just pop to the side. So I'll leave that to. Oh, oh yeah, I was going to say I did bring my chamois. I dampened it ready for Sometimes I forget to prep my chamois. I don't know, I've been using Craft White quite a lot, but it's well it's good I did get a new refill recently and it seems to be working better than it was before anyway so I'm going to make two cards and I'm going to close this before I get in a mess and the rest is just stick together because I have prepped so I have and I won't remember what I was going to do oh yeah I've got so one of the sheets of paper had square panels and rectangle panels. So I've actually, I've cut this guy out on his motorbike and I'm just going to use that as the topper for the card. So it's layering onto a piece of black. And then I have a piece of this, the motorbike, but there is a shiny side on that side too but I just thought it was interesting to see this one with the sort of mosaic of 
bikes and I have these bits as well of the tyre tracks scraps I may or may not use I just have them there but let's have a look I'm actually just going to look to see if I've got enough light it's very hard to know because that might just dull that shadow a little right it's quite it's morning I'm filming so there is quite a fair bit of light coming in the window but I'm quite a distance away from it so I just don't have the kind of room where I can have my craft desk at the window I, I call this my craft room but it's really my bedroom <laughs> I've commandeered half of the bedroom to be my craft space. My poor hubby doesn't have very much room in the bedroom and he gets out of bed, he has a very tight turning circle. But he does put up with it. Right, and then this one, and I've got a very vanilla card base because the background was very vanilla, so I quite like to keep my colours coordinated. And that is the beauty of Stampin' Up! If you're not familiar with Stampin' Up! We are a craft company, um, well, craft materials company, and everything in the range coordinates. So you can be quite confident that you know if you buy pattern paper and card that they will all coordinate our inks as well everything coordinates together so this is just a mat mat and layer card but it's just another way to use up some of the designer series paper and you just play with what you've got and Yeah. I've actually made a lot of cards just with designer series paper because I did a paper share so I had a quarter share of every pack in the last catalogues and some of them I didn't have that is stamp sets or die sets that went with them so you know it's quite good to be a bit inventive with what you have got so he's going to go on there on dimensionals I didn't know whether it was worth either putting that I quite like that the tire tracks just peeking out at that side I did cut this piece so that I could consider that So I could do something along the lines of that. I'm actually just going to do it. That can go for another card. That's another little bit left over. <laughs> oh dear, I still got. So we we'll pop that. You're not going to see the bike any that bike anyway. So it really just. just cut that the same width as my paper and I didn't bother cutting the this width down just as it was because I'm, I'm just using the scraps I'm just going to pop this on with dimensionals And one in the middle so it doesn't collapse if it goes in the post. I forgot about the, the same. Oh, that can go, yeah. We'll just. This one kind of centrally. 
it's kind of squint so just move it a little bit that's better that's it <laughs> that could just fit across there we'll put that on dimensionals as well just just because we can you might not want to put that on dimensionals if you definitely are going to put it in the post or you could put the stick the picture down flat and put the sentiment up on dimensionals So there we have card one. Simples. And then I have another one prepped here. Whoops. Right, so this is basic grey background. So where's my bone folder? And again I have just cut seams out. I fussy cut out the motorbike. And this little scene, sort of like a desert location with cactus and could, do you know, it could be Route 66, it could be anywhere. <laughs> anyway, anywhere someone's stopped on their bike ride for a comfort stop or lunch or just to visit I have been lucky enough to have visited America and been on part of Route 66 and yeah stayed in a motel on Route 66 just just because I could and then this with the checkered makes you think of the checkered flags. So it actually does something to your eyes. And look, this one's, you know, got biker clothing and accessories so if you've got any friends that are into bikes. This is a fabulous set. And it the whole set, stamp set, etc., will be available on the last chance sale. And I'm just going to, because I'm using the grey card, I'm just going to pop a liner. As I don't have the stamp set, I won't be um, stamping it, but I might have a scrap of paper I can pop into here but I'll just stick it in anyway. Where's my bits? Oh look, tire tracks. fancy that it's just the right see this is what you'll find sometimes that things are just meant to be so that's that scrap oops I'll get that bit with the glue rubber in a little while. And again, it's just the same. I have, I've, that's going to go about there. The bike will go up on, you know what's dimensionals and then we'll have our happy birthday wear. Or my snips will just, I think this one looks the best stamping.
And I'm just going to do this by hand. Not always the best idea, but... Look, see, it's not that straight, but... Just, just go in here a wee bit. Just be careful if you're doing it by hand because you always think, oh, just another little bit and another little bit. It just remain, reminds me of when my mum used to cut my brother's hair. <laughs> a bit off this side, a bit off that side. There, you see, that will sit there fine. Nothing wrong with that, is there? Okay, so it really is just glue it up and stick it on. And then I'll show you the other cards that I've made from the paper that I had left. I'm not giving you dimensions because it's about just playing with what you've got and just because your scraps might be different sizes to mine. Let's just get a bit of, see we've got this bit of edge in here. Just use that on my sentiment. sentiment here and then we'll just put the bike on dimensionals as well quite a few because it's just paper you don't want it to squash down it doesn't quite have the same way of holding its shape as card does the back ends off. So I again had this paper lying for ages. I did do I did use the one with the flowers, the black and black and grey. And if you look back, I have got a video further back using up the piece that had the flowers on. Then I never got around to using these ones. Let's put this bike at a bit of an angle. So there you go. A landscape card and a portrait one. And I'll show you the ones that I made last night before I went to bed. That one. And that one. And that one, so the same idea as that one. And again, just using up the panels in that paper that had the rectangle and sort of squarish. So we've got the map and we've got the road sign with a guy on a bike. Be careful of the bends. So, so that's quite a lot of ideas for you to use up that paper. I still have to put happy birthdays on the, pardon me. Might even put Father's Day because that's coming up in June as well. And then I will pop them onto my craft stall at the market. So, thank you very much for watching. Um, hope you've enjoyed that. Hope it's inspired you to get your designer series paper out and use it up. And you might be able to get another pack of that in the last chance sale. Have a wee look and see. So if you want to buy anything from me, any Stampin' Up! products, you can go to my online shop at jazzledazzle.stampinup.net. Please subscribe, please press the bell icon if you want to know when I'm coming on again. And thank you everyone for making it this far. Thank you.